So Lilith has officially released the update 1.0.49 summer chapter update notes. So today we're going to be taking a look at this as well as the cap on the resource assistance and plundering let's talk about it so yesterday the entire community was on fire talking about the resource assistance and looting cap that they're going to be implementing and what i don't understand about them talking about that was they didn't tell us what the cap was and then here in this update the next day they tell us what the cap is why didn't they just tell us what it was originally so that we wouldn't have to be speculating and freaking out and people you know making fake leaks and spreading fake rumors it just anyway the summer chapter event should be coming on around the 11th and they're going to be implementing the summer festival events which go live within a week after the update it says the once yearly summer festival preparations are in full swing but the attending bjorn ironside is not nearly as impressed as managing commanders minamoto no 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 yo, do, do. it's too early for this and tomo goes in can they iron out their differences before events get out of hand so summer festival story start the summer story and join with the commanders festive preparation seven days of questing for great rewards so we've seen this before uh, festival gala participate in the banquet and earn decorative items and festival city themes so that's always exciting we love new city themes around here summer sojourn collect flower paper for great rewards in the festival gala race against time we've seen this before as well who can eliminate the most barbarians in a short period of time and finally protect the supplies again we've seen this before escort supplies to the village to ensure the festival can proceed smoothly uh smoothly see the event calendar for a detailed schedule now my guess is that this is going to be one of the events that you spend 7,000 gems to unlock a higher tier of reward and as long as you participate every single day and you do really really well you typically will get most of those gems back along with some gold heads and this is usually a great uh, event for free to play players which is really exciting i haven't been keeping track of the holiday events so i i might be wrong about this one but if i do remember correctly the previous summer event that we saw in june if i'm not mistaken with the bonfire dance or something like that i don't remember what it was but i'm pretty sure that was the alliance based event so this time we should be getting for 7,000 gems a uh, a much better event that for most people most people agree that when you spend the 7,000 gems you get really good value and this is exciting so look forward to that coming in the next week or two next we have lost kingdom optimizations we're continuing to optimize the lost kingdom in order to offer a richer and smoother experience for governors in the march of the ages story added a new series of technology quests into the season updated building icon and certain screen displays improve the reserves dispatch to forward camp command with a cancellation option when in route so the ability to cancel your reserve dispatch is really important and i was so confused on how to do this and it turns out that there wasn't a way to do it right like once you would dispatch troops to your forward camp that was it you had to wait until they got there before you could send them back uh, and now you can cancel that which is good i'm really glad that they implemented this i don't know how they how, like why wasn't this in there before but anyway uh, a new series of technology quests i don't really know what that means does that mean that's going to be a new branch in the tech like in crystal tech i don't i'm not really sure um honestly the uh, i people don't want more tech right like that's really i'm pretty sure the community has been pretty vocal about not having kbk tech so they're adding more <laughs> um it's i guess i don't know we'll have to wait and see i don't want people to like get upset about this because honestly this could be like quests for bastions right like where you know you have to upgrade speed up your tech well there's already something like that i don't know we'll have to wait and see here um in the strife of the eight story they optimized rewards available to in some of the crusader achievement quests so we'll have to wait and see about that in the light and darkness story crusader forges destru uh, destruction was reduced to 24 hours and uh, governors under city hall level 16 cannot claim the lost kingdom achievement rewards again so i don't really know what that what do they mean by again were they able to claim them twice i don't know um other optimizations we have boosted resource point deposits by 25 percent across all levels on the map excluding gem deposits and alliance resource centers so i think everybody knew that last part right like don't get it twisted they're not going to give you more gems for free and the alliance resource centers were already updated a few months ago um and improved troops base gathering speed by 10 percent we have also set a daily cap on the quantity of resources that can be received through resource assistance and plundering at 200 million for each so 400 million in total so this to me they should have just said this yesterday they should have just said this when this information first broke 
the 25% increase in resource point uh, deposit is good. A level six node that has a million resources is now going to have 1.25 million. So again, really nice there. And uh, the fact that the gathering speed doesn't match the increase is actually okay with me uh, because I don't like logging into the game like every hour and, and 10 minutes, right? Uh, so, you know, having it take a little bit longer to just get more resources, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, the, the limit here is definitely in question. Okay. 200 million resources, uh, for resource assistance, I think is on the low side. I was hoping this would be at least 500 million. That's what I was hoping. Um, 200 million is better than some of the leaks that were coming out. Right. So I'm relieved to find out that those are fake. Um, but 200 million is pretty, it just seems pretty low to me, man. I don't know when you look at how many resources it takes to heal down a hospital for a T5 player, you know, somebody who's been fighting all day in the open field, um, you know, if they want to get a bunch of resources from their allies, from their R4, R5s, or other players who have resources to spare, or if your friend is quitting the game and they want to save their resources, 200 million, you know, again, it's, if you send 200 million before reset, you can send 200 million after reset. That's my assumption. I'm hoping this is not on like a 24 hour timer, but even still, I don't know. It just, to me, it should, to me, it should be resources sent. That's to me what it should be. There should be a cap on the amount of resources you can send to another player. And that cap should be lifted when you hit T5. Um, because I don't see why a player should be punished for the bots, because that's really what they're trying to fight. They're trying to combat the botting in the game. Uh, they're trying to combat resource sellers. And so that's, that's what this implement implementation is for. Uh, but if you just implement a cap on the amount that you can send until you hit a certain point in the technology, for example, they could just add on to carriage level 10 at the bottom here. It could be when you hit level 10, you get a 10,000% increase in the amount of resources you can send. So that effectively puts the cap at like, you know, 10 billion or something like that. Uh, and the reason that I think my solution is better is because uh, resource sellers and resource bots typically are not very far into the economic technology, at least not at the very end, right? Um, or worst case scenario, remove the cap when a player hits a single t5 unit unlock right uh, that to me seems like a far better solution than what they're than the route that they're taking uh, because again 200 million it's on the low side for from just everyone that i've been talking to uh people have been saying like you know really if it's less than 500 million it's gonna put it's going to affect how war is waged right uh so we'll have to wait and see again i mean most players aren't going to notice this cap like let's just be real here for a second most players are not going to notice this but uh for the t5 players who do fight often this is this is going to hurt them for sure um and i think that there's an opportunity for them to fix this problem without hurting those players which is why i'm so confused as to why they're, they're taking the route that they are when they could easily just put a cap on the amount you can send and then lift that cap when you hit a certain milestone that way you're not hurting like you're basically punishing the players that are playing your game that's kind of what's happening here which is frustrating okay anyway optimizations to Arco Osiris troops in hospital are now located in the matchmaking calculations according to a certain ratio in the Arco Osiris matchmaking system Arc of Osiris practice matches can now be held on Saturdays and Sundays so this is cool I like this optimization here they should always include hospitalized troops because those troops are going to come back always uh improve the osiris league minimap display great new alliance search functionality results will highlight whether an alliance is currently part of your kingdom and you no longer need to get the capitalization right when searching for an alliance name that's so good that is so good i cannot believe the uh, frustration that it causes when you're trying to search for an alliance that has a slightly weird capitalization and you just can't find them uh this is really really great um the 30-day research speed up supply has been available for a limited time these supplies are only open to kingdoms that are un undergoing or have passed the ease of eve of the crusade from lost kingdom season one when this event begins so 30 day research speed up supply that must be a five or ten dollar bundle right uh because we've already got a 30 day gem supply so i'm assuming that you're going to get re a good value for research speed ups over the course of 30 days this is nice that they're implementing a way to get to t5 faster that's basically what this is um but the fact that it's behind a paywall just is like that just who was asking for that right um this says improved a bug in the power rating of certain equipment with special talents so i don't think anybody even knew that equipment had power rating but okay uh improve the underlying 
I'm supposed to wake up now. Improve the underlying algorithm for Season of Conquest Imperium Kingdoms, linking Imperium Kingdom numbers with the number of kingdoms entering Season of Conquest, uh, and added a Master and Command Achievement category, the completion of which series will earn an abundant reward. Okay, so we're getting new achievements. That's nice. I do like achievements. I think that's really great. Uh, an abundant reward. I wonder what that is. It's probably like, uh, wait for it's probably it's probably one gold head dude i can't wait for a whole or oh, wait, wait no 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 it's gonna be a name plaque with a flower on it bro not nah, I, I don't know we'll have to wait and see hopefully this is actually cool i do like i do like achievements and uh hopefully this really truly is an abundant reward anyway guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video comment down below your thoughts and opinions on some of the changes here coming with the summer chapter update as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff it's always down below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play the game and i recently just updated to blue stacks 5 it's literally it's way better than it was before it you know if you have a worse computer uh, definitely give blue stacks 5 a try and again downloading with my link is a free way to support the channel if you don't like the program, you can always uninstall it later, but it does help me out a ton. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.